Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm bringing you a very long-awaited video that I haven't got able to do for a while, but I'm going to put it all together right now. So to start off, this video will be how to make the most pucks, or my method on how I made a lot of pucks, or things like that. But basically, we'll start out from the beginning. So when you go into NHL, usually daily, you will see when you press the right trigger. Right now, there's nothing because I already watched the videos, but it'll usually say like one of one video waiting to watch, or two videos, something like that. You want to watch each video because you'll get a pretty decent amount of pucks, I believe it's like 300 or 500. And then what you can do is you can press X to redeem them, which is always good, because eventually that will build up from uh, all your ESHL stuff. So then, those are two little things, I guess you could say. Those are pretty easy to do. And another thing is, when you come into Hut daily, you'll get the bigger uh, bonus each day. And eventually, after like 8 days, you'll get 1,250. And if you think about it, in 10 days, you get like 12,000 pucks for free. Okay, so now let's, let's go to the next thing. I would say that this method's kind of dropped a bit, but I still think it's pretty good. It's buying a silver pack. I will buy one right now for you guys. Probably won't get anything good. But basically, for the collections in this game, it's really popular. So a lot of these silver NHL players go for a ton. And right now you could see that, yeah, this guy went for 500, 300, this 800, and that guy 300. There's nothing really special here, which is kind of a disappointing. But this, this is pretty cool, a logo, so I'll have that there. The jersey's okay, I'll let that there, and I will, um, see right now I would sell these guys, but at the moment, it'll probably be a while before I could actually sell them, so I'm just gonna quick sell them. Well, that's a pretty good method right there, is buying a silver pack and seeing if you can get any silver players who are rare. Like, if you get McDavid, he's like 15k, 10k. The next, uh, method for me is bronze packs, and what you wanna do is when you buy one of these, which I'll do right now, Basically, you're paying 600 pucks for all these cards. So let me just go through them really quick. So this guy right here, a thousand. You made your pucks back. I doubt he's gonna sell for a thousand, but still, you could sell some of these uh, contracts for some money. Like this duration right here, this duration and this two all. Boom, you made your pucks back on top of everything else. So I'm gonna send it to my trade pile. Um, I'm gonna send this guy to my trade pile, and I'm gonna send these two guys to my collection. But yeah, basically a bronze pack. It's really, it's like 99% chance to make your pucks back, but yet again, it takes a while, and you're not going to be making thousands of pucks. You really won't be able to get anything in there that's amazing. And the last method is for the gold packs. I made a lot more success buying the premium jumbo, but this, the second pack, the premium pack, the, the gold premium pack, the middle one, that one usually for people has a lot better. I will open one right now for you guys, not going to get anything good in here, but usually this pack is pretty good, fairly decent. And as you guys see, uh, that's not that bad, I guess. But yeah, this pack definitely wasn't anything special. Uh, Rutu, I guess I get to try to sell them for a little bit more. I'll add this guy to my collection. Uh, have that, half that. Did that go for? This one for a thousand, so I'll try to sell that. And just going through this stuff, nothing really special here. I'll throw this in my trade pile, and I could sell this stuff. You, you could honestly. If you do buy the like this pack or the premium jumbo, the next one, you get a lot of contracts. You could sell them each for 250 to like 400, so definitely make some pucks there. But I'm just gonna quick sell everything. But yeah, that's the pack method. If you want to just work your way in packs, plus packs are pretty cool to open. But yeah, as you guys saw, I opened three, and the only one I think I made a profit on was a bronze one. And make sure you look at my packs because occasionally they'll give you some free packs for like a little. Like now they're actually giving you mini free packs, so you don't even have to have the season ticket anymore. And then the next method for me, which has been a huge method for me, as you guys saw my collection, it was pretty big, but I want to go through this. So basically, I've been, when I buy packs, I send everything to my collection, and I've made, let's see, let's go over to the teams I collect. So let's start, the first team is Carolina, then Colorado, Columbus, Florida, Devils, Coyotes, Sharks, um... Lightning, Toronto, Canucks, and Winnipeg, and the two all-star teams. And a big thanks to Matt Roberts. He gave me, I believe, three or four of those teams. He gave me the Sharks, Tampa Bay, and two other ones, and I collected the rest of myself. And then Toronto, we, uh, it was a kind of a group effort with a few other people. But yeah, that's that's basically what the collection is. Um, I... Um, what is it called? It, it takes a while, and sometimes it couldn't be worth it, like, in your opinion, because each team has, like, at least one good player. But some easy teams I would definitely recommend would be Florida. They have this one guy on it who is called Pinna, some, Pinna Zoto or something like that. He's a silver player. He's the only player in the team worth a lot. 
he goes for like 15 to 20k right now. He used to go for 70k, but if you pay 15k on him and you sell him for like 12 or 15k, you make your money back. And on top of that, you get the 37,000 bonus. Another pretty easy team to do, I would say, it would probably be not Columbus. Um, I don't remember what team it was, but definitely weren't that good. Carolina is pretty hard just because Cam Ward and Eric Stahl, but each team has at least one or two good players, so that's pretty hard. But if you think you could swap them back or make more pucks for the players, I'd say they're definitely worth it. And uh, let's just go and think of some other methods. So another method, in my opinion, that really, really, really worked for me is when I when, when I bought um, Winnipeg's uh, collection, I bought Bufflin for 70k at the time, and it was after a big pack. And at first, I was like, wow, he's not going to sell for anything. So overnight, I put him for a buy now of 95k, and there's only two in the market. And when I woke up, someone bought him for 95k, so I, I flipped the market for 25k extra pucks. And basically, you the best times to sell is usually after school, like for everyone, like everyone's getting home from school. The majority of people who play this game are in school, so that's a good time to sell, so around like 3, 4, maybe 5. But at nighttime, that's when you should buy like around like 9, 10, 11, even like later in my opinion, like when it's like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, and weekends because uh, if you're up on weekdays at that late, maybe you'll get some steals, but if you think about it, everyone's sleeping, so there's not going to be thousands of people looking for cards and trying to bid on them, so that's the best time to buy your players is at night. And another good method is to buy them when a huge pack comes out, like that uh, 250,000 pack came out and everyone's price dropped. I've got a uh, Hockey Fights Cancer Bergeron for like 37k, and he goes for like 55 right now, and he's probably going to go up to like 70 soon. But it's just that's a really good method is to not sell your cards after a big pack comes out, but try to buy them and hold on to them until a few days after that pack comes out. And just one more thing I want to go over about what I was saying before is you want to flip players. You don't want to have a you don't want to like try to sell your players at nighttime. But what you want to do is you want to try to sell them for a lot more than they're going for. Like Bufflin, I could I was trying to sell him all day for 75k and he wouldn't sell. And then I put him up at like when it was like. Um, I believe it was like midnight and I put him up for 12 hours for 95k buy now and I woke up the next morning he sold. I've done this method with a few other players, um, who was it, uh, Semen, he was going for 28k after the, he used to go for like 35k but he was going for like 28, 27k and I couldn't even sell him for 25k, put him up for 12 hours, 35k buy now, woke up, he sold. So that's a very good method to do, that's worked a lot for me. Another method to do is right now I don't think... This would take a long, long time, so I'm going to narrow it down real quick for you guys. This definitely isn't going to really show how uh, effective this method is, but basically, you're going to want to put um, a buy now of something. I'm just going to... You, you don't want to put a buy now minimum of, up there, and you don't want to put a... Um, you know, the maximum, you probably want to put up to like 100k or something like that, but basically, what you want to do is... I don't know, this might... No, this is not going to take that long. Basically, what you want to do... I'm only doing uh, 2k and 3k because this takes forever to get to the 59 minute mark but what you want to do is basically put a buy now minimum of nothing and put a buy now maximum like 100k or a million how many pucks you have. Yeah a million would work too because you just want to find someone you could buy now. You don't want to find someone you bid on, just someone you buy now and you want to go to the 59 minute mark and when you get there I will show you in a second. And one more thing I'll just talk while uh, this is getting to the 59 minute mark is the team of the week in Hockey Fights Cancer, uh, Cancer. They both quick sell for like 6k so if you could uh, win any bids for under 5k or 5.5k you're making like a thousand pucks there. And eventually I'm going to guess the play will even go up more like the Hockey Fight Cancer players because eventually they will not be there anymore in like the next month I'm guessing. But that's another good method honestly. And we're making our way to the hour mark or 59 minute mark. And I will show you exactly what to do from here. Should be a few right triggers away. And let's let's go. Let's go. Almost there. So I really don't think I'm going to get anything in this because it's... Uh, okay, so it should be... Is it this? So not, we got to go before this. So right here is the 59 minute mark. And usually there'll be like every time you click right trigger or left trigger, it will refresh the page. And... Um, what is it called? Yeah, it'll refresh the page and like show the players who are just newly listed. And by that, let's say someone pulls a... Uh, I'll throw Jeru up there, for example. They're not really that smart with Hut, or they don't really know what anything goes for. Maybe they'll put him up for 50k by now. You're here at the 59 minute mark. This first second he gets uh, up, up, yeah, updated. 
on here. You see him for 50k, you buy him, you sell him for 200k or something like that. That is a thing once in a lifetime. I know X Tech won a Jamie Ben for a hundred buy now. That was obviously someone just putting him up there for jokes, but like that's just an example of what could happen. I know right now I'm not going to get anything, especially since uh, I have a very very slim uh, whatever it's called uh, time difference. I mean uh, price difference, 2k and 3k. Not going to be that many players put up for that price. But usually there's so many. But the only reason why I didn't do it is because it would took literally like 20 minutes to get here. That's the reason why this method is pretty annoying, is that it takes forever to get to the 59 minute mark. And also it's very, very, very time consuming, but you basically do nothing and you get a lot of steals. I won a Camilleri yesterday for 3K. I won a Zajac for 4K. No, no, uh, 3K as well. I won, I won a bunch of pretty good players for really cheap and you know, it's worked out great for me. Like this guy here, he could be worth something. The, another thing with the silver players is they used to be worth so much and they're dropping dramast, uh, drastically, which is kind of sad. Like like I said, the guy in Florida used to go for 70k and now he's dropping to like 20k or probably be 10k soon. But yeah, I don't really think I'm going to get anything here. It doesn't look like there's really anything much, especially with this um, this 2k and 3k. Not going to really find anything special, but a Ginla for 2k, I don't really know if it's a good deal. I'm going to guess it's not because he's not that good of a player anymore, but he's got a pretty big name. But I'm not going to spend that on him because I don't think he's worth that much. And Frogger's still in the game, so that's always good. But yeah, that is basically it for the 59 minute mark. I wish I could have got something for you guys, but definitely not going to find anything. I don't think I am. Wheeler for 2.75k. He used to be 10 to 12k. His price is completely dropped. A lot of these players drop due to either people are finding out they're not that good, honestly. Like, they don't have that, because Wheeler doesn't have that good of a uh, skating. That's his, like, worst thing. Or people are just, um, the market still has, hasn't been uh, fixed yet. Because a lot of these players go for a lot more than they're going right now. Like, for example, Stasny used to go for 8 to 10k. He's going for, like, 2k. McCulloch, he used to go for, like, 15k, 10k. Now he goes for 2k, so... A lot of these players' prices are still pretty bad. Still haven't recovered from that uh, mega pack yet. But yeah, definitely when that mega, when any type of pack comes out, any special pack, um, if it's a really good pack, like a really good special pack, like a mega pack, if it's a 250k pack, you don't want to sell your players. Trust me. Even if you're like, oh, but I want to get this player, you don't want to sell your players because you're gonna be making a lot less pucks and. Yeah, if you know a mega pack's coming out or a big pack, what you want to do is you want to sell the players before that day comes. Usually it's pretty hard to tell when it's coming, but um, for holidays and stuff, you, you should know. But you want to try to make it, have as many pucks as you can. Like, I had a pretty big amount, and I bought a bunch of players yesterday. I would say probably going to make, like, 50% profit on everything when I sell it, but I didn't sell it yet. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely any, there wasn't anything here, but, like, Stasny for 1.7k and 86 overall with good face-offs who was going for like 7 to 8k a few weeks ago. That's definitely dropped. A lot of these players have dropped, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, one more final thing. Well, there's a few uh, quick things real quick, but um, let's see. Let's just look. Not really contracts. Um, um yeah there's there's the the skater if you if you get a 15 duration that goes for a lot but a lot of the other things they don't go for much anymore and that's about it the um i'll go through my team real quick this team i just put together for my collection there uh, i guess these two players without them this team wouldn't be special at all but uh yeah i'll just uh go through my team got this bergeron for like 40 something k so it was a really good deal i got this grabner for 700 by now he used to go for like 4k so his price dropped a lot Lupul I got in a pack, uh, what else, nothing else really here, but basically, as you guys see, I'll just uh, through, show you this, so my lineups, I would say they're, it's good, but it, I mean, take away Stan, Coast Crosby, it's not amazing, like, the, my third, fourth, and second line aren't that good, but basically, I have a five-star team, and I want to show you something real quick, so let's say I take Hiller, and I swap with my collection for a goalie, and watch this. I will go to a very, very, very low goalie. Many of you probably know this method, but I just want to show you one more time. So Hiller's an 84. My team's five-star team. Can't get any better than that. But I'm going to take this 42 overall goalie, and I'm going to pop him in my net and see what happens to my stars. 
So I dropped from a 5 star team to a 4 star team and basically that would give you a pretty big percentage of pucks at the end of each game. It's not going to be that much but it's going to be pretty good and let's just say take out Lupul and watch this, swap him for a left winger. It's not going to be anything that special but uh, I'll just swap him for a Gerby. Uh, Gerby. Uh, let's see how much, I'm pretty sure I'll be a three and a half star team, maybe three. No, I didn't drop, and that's probably just because of these three players are so good overall. And to be completely honest, Crosby, I wish he had more speed or skating, I meant to say, but he's still a really good player. His shot's good, his poke checking is like amazing, puck control is amazing, Stamkos is fast, and he's got a good shot. But like these three players, I would honestly prefer a lot of other players over them, especially the pucks you're going to be shelling out to get them. I haven't really tried Bergeron yet, so he might be a good investment, but paying like a half a million or uh, 600,000, 700,000 for Stamkos, one you can get Semin for 30k is, I would definitely prefer Semin. And Crosby, I would definitely prefer so many other players over him if you want to pay 1.5 million for him. Vanex, honestly, somewhat similar to Stamkos. I don't think he's close to him yet, but I think Semin is just as good. Bruner's been a really good player. Grabner's been really good. Grabowski's a very good player. These are all really underrated players. And honestly, defensively, nothing special here, but uh, Boyle's really good. Hedman is really good. If you guys want a very solid uh, defenseman who could take some hits, he's not the fastest, but he could take some hits, and he's got a pretty good shot, definitely recommend Hedman. He goes for like 4 or 5K right now. I bought him for 7. I bought two of them for 7K. I sold one for 14K, and I'm just keeping this one on my team for the time being. So he only goes for like 4 or 5K right now. But to be honest, that is pretty much it. What you want to do is silver players or bronze players, you could probably make a pretty good profit on them. If you buy a gold pack, I prefer the middle one. I've gotten better luck in the, the one on the right, but everyone says the middle one's better. The collections, you want to try to make, you want to try to collect collections in the NHL. I haven't tried in any other team because I feel like it'll take a long time and you don't make that many pucks back. But you work, you get collections in the NHL, you try to sell everything back for a bit more than it's worth, and boom. You get the 30 to 60k bonus on top of selling everything back for more. And you want to look at the free daily pucks each day. That always helps. You want to try to flip players price overnight. Put him up for 12k. No, not 12k. 12, uh, 12 hours. And you want to put his price a lot higher than he goes for. This method really, really works when there's less than 5 of them on the market. It really, really works. Even if the player doesn't sell, I'm guaranteeing you his price will at least increase by 5k. Another thing is you want to buy buy players after a huge pack. You don't want to sell after a huge pack. Team of the week, Hockey Fights can't, Cancer, you want to try to find them and buy them for under 5K. And even if it's like 6K, I would still buy them because they'll probably go for a bit more than that. And you could always quick sell them for 6 to 7K or something like that around there. And you want to make sure you watch the videos on the home screen. That's not the best method. And another method that people say is, oh, put buy now 600 um for NHL gold players and to be honest you can do this but I feel like this would take forever basically what it is is if you uh, search for buy nows for these gold players who can quick sell for 600 or something like that around 700 sure you'll be making 100 to 200 pucks per player but you need to be buying a lot of players to make a, a pretty good profit and that takes a while still but yeah, that's that's just my methods. I might have left something out, and if you guys have any uh, if you guys have any other good methods, I want you to write them in the comments so everyone else can know, because everyone's always like, oh, how many? How did you get all these pucks? I didn't cheat. I didn't glitch. I didn't do any uh, I didn't do anything stupid or anything like that. All I did was flip in the market, collecting teams with other people. Like I would collect a team, I would give them to them. They would collect a team, they'd give them to me, and boom, I would sell all the players from my collection, and I'd make a profit. Another thing is Matt Roberts gave me like 200,000 pucks, so that always helped. And of course, like I said, he gave me Tampa's collection and stuff like that. But another thing is I've gotten not really lucky in packs. I got a Latang in one pack and that Crosby. But besides that, that's been about it. And I spent over 600, 700K in packs, so not that good for packs. And I've seen people pull like 8 to 10 good things overall, so they got a lot better luck than me. Yet again, I did get the Crosby, so my that luck my luck was uh, pretty low, and it just just because I got that Crosby, it's amazing to everyone. But I don't think I'll probably ever pull anything else again. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It honestly would mean a lot. And like I said, please comment your method or any tips that you use that you think are good, because I want to try to get this to be one of the biggest uh, tip videos to help people out who are new. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Like I said before, and the comment. It honestly means a lot. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys later. Yeah,
your time when everything's wrong you make it right i feel so high i come alive i need to be free with you tonight i, said I, I need, need your love, love.